Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. From time to time, we like to answer viewers' questions, and today is such a day. Christopher here writes whether I could do an example with another Boolean operator. Understandable, since most of my compound mask examples use the default add operator. Well, Christopher, that's a great question. I'm going to do just that, showing you how to use the subtract operator to precisely remove a portrait background. This builds upon my previous video on compound masks and hair selection, so make sure to check that out first if you have not done so. So let's get right into it. Before we begin demonstrating this process, let's go back to the basics and quickly demonstrate how a subtract operator works and its difference from an add operator. Here we have a compound mask with one mask. As a reminder, you can view the mask large by Alt or Option clicking the thumbnail. As a compound mask needs two masks to work, let's add an additional empty mask. Note that the Add operator is in effect by default. Next, let's view the resultant mask by Alt or Option clicking on the compound mask layer. As you can see, the resultant mask is exactly the same as the initial mask. Reason being, the pixel values of the empty mask are all zeros, and when you add zero plus any mask pixel values, what you get is the same mask. Next, let's brush gray on the empty mask. Notice that brushing on the areas brightens the resulting mask, confirming that an add operator is indeed applied. Also notice that when using the add operator, the resulting mask is the same even if we change the order of the layers. So that is the add boolean operator. Let's move on to the subtract operator. Let's start off using the same initial mask and empty layer. The first difference the subtract operator has with the add operator is with subtract, you need to manually specify the operator. You do that by clicking on the tiny icon and selecting subtract from the menu. There, the subtract operator is in effect. Next, let's brush gray on the empty mask. Notice now that with a subtract operator, the resultant mask becomes darker. And this is because the top mask is being subtracted from the bottom mask. Note that with compound masks, the evaluation is performed from bottom to top, not as you would think from top to bottom. And that brings us to the second difference. Unlike an add operator, with a subtract operator, the resulting mask will be affected if you switch the order of the layers. As you can see here, the resulting mask becomes pure black as the difference between the mask is negative. In this case, you're subtracting higher pixel values from lower pixel values, and that brings about a negative result. So that is the difference between add and subtract. Now that we understand the concept better, Let's apply the subtract operator to the problem of removing a portrait background precisely. Let's work with this image. Once again, this builds upon my previous video. So I'm going to be running through the steps a little bit faster. First, let's add a compound mask. Next, let's add a live luminosity range mask. Again, I'll manipulate the graph to ensure the hair edges are in white while the background is in black. I'll not worry too much about the rest of the selection. As expected, while we successfully mask the difficult hair edges, the rest of the person is only partially selected. Let's fix that 
by augmenting the luminosity mask with a secondary mask. First, I'll add an empty mask. Next, I'll make a selection of the lady using the selection brush and polygonal selection tool. There, the selection looks good. With the empty mask selected, I'll paint white on the selection. As you can see, the lady is now more correctly masked. Unfortunately though, the background still is not. How do we fix this? This is where the subtract operator becomes useful. Let's sort out this problem with the following steps. First, let's invert the selection to target the background. To do that, I'll click Select, Invert Pixel Selection. There, the selection is inverted. Next, let's further refine the mask by adding yet another empty mask. Drag the mask inside the compound mask and move to the top. Next, change the mask's operator to subtract. With the mask layer selected, paint white on the selection. And there you have it, another flawless cutout. It's another demonstration of how powerful compound masks are to solve complex masking problems. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do remember, if you are in any way confused, to watch my previous compound mask videos to get a better grasp on the basics. I leave a link in the description. Also, let me know if you know of any other applications for the other Boolean operators. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.